cheese in my palate like a pro-level pumpkin pecan pie party. To you by Desert King Windows. Drivers in Arkansas couldn't believe their eyes. Look at this. After seeing a plane floating down from the sky by parachute landing on a freeway, piloting or maybe just hanging on for dear life inside that plane, former Walmart CEO Bill Simon. Yeah, the plane had engine trouble, and that's when he pulled the cord for... Sports is sponsored by your... ...will not become the fifth state in addition to Washington, D.C. to legalize recreational marijuana. Voters rejecting the measure tonight. You could wind up voting on this next year in our state if a group gathers enough signatures to get it on the ballot. It's more proof social media isn't always fun in games. Last night we told you about a Fresno State football player arrested for a threat made on campus. Not only is he facing charges, but the latest tonight, he's also been cut from the team. Of course, that threat on the heels of a scare at ASU. Some students even been telling us that they were too scared to go to class. Tonight, police say they traced the threat to a 12-year-old in Canada. The child's comments made on a social media app. At this point, it doesn't appear that any charges will be filed. A Valley Marine refusing to be ignored. You've heard us mention the name John Ritzheimer. Back in May, he organized what many believe was an anti-Islam rally outside the Islamic Community Center. Diego has more on how he's taking a piece of Arizona history to the big screen. Opened in 1950, this iconic Valley Steakhouse still very much a throwback to a different time. It's not like anything else in Phoenix because, it, you know, it feels like you walked into Goodfellas, basically. Durant's off Central, a legendary restaurant with a famously eccentric owner. A man of myth, mystery, ladies' man, everything you could want in a, in a great film character. Valley filmmaker Travis Mills isn't the first to be inspired by Jack Durant or to believe the restaurant's walls hold secrets. Phoenix was one of the most corrupt cities in the nation. Mills' latest film, Durant's Never Closes, centers around Jack Durant and some of his infamous patrons. Celebrities, politicians, mobsters, they came, they made business deals here. The restaurant itself wasn't involved in the making of the film or its plot. Current owner, Carol McElroy, whose father-in-law was partners with Durant, doesn't believe anyone can confirm the rumors, but understands Durant's intrigue. He created a fabulous mystique. He was a very interesting, very intelligent, very smart man. One particular legend, which published reports say Durant himself is said to have bragged about, is the basis for Mills's next film, Valley of Shadows. There's a rumor that the, the Don Bull's murder was planned inside Durant's. That's one urban legend. The 1976 assassination of Don Bull's, an Arizona Republic reporter known for taking on the mob, is one of Phoenix's most notorious murders. Don Bull's was a reporter in Arizona for the Arizona Republic. Hospital attendants who picked up Bowles said he told them he was working on a story concerning the mafia. The tragic event much more than a movie plot for Bob Early. This was a uh, mafia uh, free state. So, uh, you know, nobody had control of anything. Back then, he was the paper city editor and one of Bowles' closest friends. He was always involved in, in some kind of scandalous stuff. Early was working the day Bowles got his final tip. Police reporter called me and said there was a, uh, a car bomb at the Clarendon Hotel. A bomb went off in his car yesterday as he sat in it outside a hotel where he was to have met a man who had some information for him. The fatal car bomb that killed Bulls at the old Clarendon Hotel is also depicted in Durant's Never Closes. It was terrible. It was, it was, uh... It was awful. Nearly 40 years later, still a painful memory for those that knew Bulls. If you see the picture of him, that most people use, it's, it's of him smiling, this big smile. That was typical of Don, he smiled a lot. He was a good guy. Tough loss. Yeah, tough. In the film Valley of Shadows, the names of any real life characters are changed except for Bulls. Still, we're told one character might remind you of a certain someone. There is an editor character who works for an unnamed newspaper. <laughs> So, it's that kind of thing. He had been working on a series of newspaper reports about swindles. While nobody can confirm all the myths still lingering around this legendary place, Mills says that's not the goal of either movie. Hopefully, it makes them really interested in looking up polls on Wikipedia and reading all the stuff about the case.
you know, it kind of makes them their own investigator. Don Bull's murder was eventually tied to organized crime. The man who made and planted the bomb pled guilty and went to prison. Two others later had their convictions overturned. That car, by the way, that was uh, explode that blew up is now on display at the museum in Washington, D.C. Interesting stuff. Well, this next foodie story has been trending around the world. The Chicago style pizza place Lou Malnati's is coming to Uptown Phoenix in May. It is one of the oldest names in deep dish pizza with over 40 locations in the Chicago area. Well, restaurants across the country have been offering specials all day because it is National Sandwich Day. Here are some of our favorite sandwich posts, chains like Applebee's and Jimmy John's, posting pictures of their sandwich creations. Subway struggled with long lines at many of its locations, even running out of bread at several. And if you aren't much of a sandwich person, you should know that National Candy Day and National Nacho Day take place later this week. Well, we definitely want to give a shout out to all of you who have donated to our Treats for Troops campaign. Tomorrow evening, a chance of maybe seeing a little bit more through the valley. So it doesn't look like we're going to clear this system out of here until Thursday. Once we do, lots of sunshine. But tomorrow, a 30% chance for showers uh, through much of the day. And temperatures starting out in the 50s with highs only in the 60s across much of the valley. It will be a little breezy, too. Gust to 25 here, gust to 30 up north. Right now, winds at just 10 as we sit at 67 degrees. Up to the north, 38 right now in Flagstaff, 43 degrees in Sholo. Lows tonight in the 20s for Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon, our coldest spot. And highs the portions of Ahwatukee, Chandler, and Mesa. All of this moving from the north or the south to the north, and it looks pretty light right now. But you can see the bulk of the moisture has shifted into northern Arizona. We're seeing uh, the snow come down even just north of Flagstaff. The first part of the system, this cold front, that'll be moving its way through Arizona the rest of tonight. But we still have the center of this low to deal with tomorrow. That's the portion that's going to be making its way across Arizona. It's going to give us another boost of energy, and so we're expecting even more uh, snowfall up in the high country. So uh, winter weather advisories in effect 8 a.m. tomorrow until 11 p.m. So the entire day. So basically just take it easy with travel because the roads will be slick. We're looking at two to six inches of snowfall above 6,500 feet, but the snow level coming down though to about 5,500 feet or so. So if that's you expect to uh, be very cold tomorrow and get some of that snow. Here's a look at Flagstaff tomorrow morning, 31 degrees with snow showers and then snow showers continuing well into the afternoon afternoon where the highs are only going to hit the upper 30s. So just a little bit above freezing tonight. We are pretty cool out there across the valley. We're seeing lots of 60s throughout. We're going to keep going from there. We're going to drop down to 59 degrees. Cloudy skies chance of showers continuing through the overnight hours and then a slightly better chance tomorrow. So we're looking at a 30% chance. It's going to be cloudy. It's going to be cool. A high of only 69 degrees. That is well below the average this time of year, which is about 80 degrees. So by Thursday, the system for the most part will be pulling its way out of the area. We'll see temperatures still on the cool side, then we're going to continue to warm up as we head into the weekend. It looks pretty good. It's 70s. All right, Cariba, thank you. Well, Trev News is tracking in Arizona. Then as you uh, can see also, we do have some casino floor. Shows which start Monday night. And of course, you can catch The Voice every Monday night at 7 right here on 12 News. That's right. Don't change that channel. Despite the frustrating and disappointing season, ASU football could find itself smiling from ear to ear. And Devils coach Todd Graham responds to the cheating allegations. Sports is next. Personalized dark support. 48 at Flagstaff, 73 at Gila Bend on the day today. Let's take a look at the. Pollo de una compañía. Pues prácticamente donde quieras. Obtén cox. Also known as IORT, we can deliver.